Welcome back. We are here on eTour looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, uh, February 19, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. As you can see, we're trading at 51,852 at this current stage. It looks like we are about to pull back a little bit towards 50,000. If that breaks, that could open the door to the 20 exponential moving average at the 45,000. That will be a really good entry point to, for, for a buy. If that breaks, then we'll head probably towards these previous highs here. That is around all the way down to 40,000. And we'll have the 50 moving average of uh, going this way as well. That is going to be a very, very long stretch. Then we'll have a massive breakdown in the cryptocurrency market if that were going to be the case. But 50,000 is going to be where some uh, buyers will come in. And especially around this area here at the 45 to 47,000 is where people will also come in because that 20 exponential is going to move this way and people are going to buy into that. So it's going to probably bounce off the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators, they are slowly turning around. They're still bullish, but they're still turning around. We are significantly overbought, which is not very uncommon for these cryptocurrencies. They have been very parabolical in the last few months and therefore most of them have extremely high RSI numbers. Makes, which makes them very risky to buy. You can see basically what happens here if you buy at an RSI that is at 95 or above 70. The same goes for basically everywhere else it has rallied in the past. It's the same thing. Getting to those levels, you risk of losing 25% of your value in a day and so on. So other technical indicators are slowly turning around, so we may see this pullback 50 or around uh, 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at Litecoin. No, not Litecoin, Ethereum. Sorry. So Ethereum got to new highs today. We're trading at 1928. Uh, we're also getting very overstretched here at the 71 in the RSI. If we pull back from here, these previous highs should offer quite a lot of support at 1850. If we go further than that, we go towards the 20 exponential at 17. And that's where this probably will end. So around 1700, 1800, if it falls from, from here, we'll see buyers come in and we'll target 2000. At the 2000, this will absolutely go bananas. So we'll probably see a, a very parabolical move like this one or this one when we basically crack 2000. Technical indicators are very bullish. We are overbought. And if you look at the weekly chart as well, it's extremely overbought, this cryptocurrency. But 20 exponential has been behaving as major support in the past. And as long as that is the case, it is possible to rely on those pullbacks for as a buying opportunity. So let's look at Ada Cardano. So as you can see, we continue going slowly higher to the upside. It is probably only a matter of time before we break $1. And after that, this probably will go even more parabolical. We'll probably go all the way down up to 1.25 uh, when we break uh, $1. And then we most likely will see a very lot of, a lot of volatility. So there is quite a lot of resistance underneath here. You just see people were waiting for this pullback towards the 20 exponential and then just bought as much as they could. It went uh, all the way down to the 20 exponential and then just jumped to the upside straight away. So there is there is demand for this cryptocurrency when you just look at this, um, this move to the downside and upside. People were selling and then buying straight away so they took it a chance when it basically fell so expect the same thing to happen here if it falls towards the 20 exponential around this area here uh, 0 0.75 then we will see a lot of buying occurring so yes technical indicator they are still very bullish it is significantly overbought as i said most of the cryptocurrencies are significantly overbought but they can get all the way up to 
9095 before we see moves like this to the downside. At the moment, target here is $1. And if that breaks, then we will go significantly higher from here. So let's look at Litecoin. So it has pulled back a bit today. We are probably going to see this pull back towards a $200 range, which would be a, a really good area to, uh, to enter if we bounce from there. So the 20 moving average will move this way, and we'll probably have this falling towards the $200 level. Sorry. So yes, that is where we found uh, major uh, risk support uh, only a few days ago. And that's probably also where we'll find support again if we fall to those levels. We could also fall to the, to the half of this uh, big candlestick here and then continue rallying to the upside. We are overbought 71 here in the, R, in the RSI. Technical indicators are pretty all over the place. MACD and Stochastic are very bullish, while the, while the CCI is, uh, is basically becoming bearish at this point. So pullback is also buying opportunities at this point. Uh, 250 is going to be the target, uh, short-term target. 300 is probably going to be the long-term target uh, for Litecoin. So let's look at NEO. This has been one of the uh, best performing cryptocurrencies, um, well-known cryptocurrencies out there. So we created this uh, bullish flag pattern here, and now we have taken off. And it's probably just a matter of time before we take out the uh, previous highs here at the 40, uh, $46 uh, and head towards 50 After that, it's 55 to 60 However, this is also significantly overbought. So if you buy it here, it is a massive risk. Pullbacks towards 40 or the 50 or the 20 exponential moving average at 35 around that area are going to be um be interested uh interest for buyers to come in and and buy this to the upside but uh technical indicators they are fairly bullish the stochastic and the macd and the cci is flat at this point so let's look at from so we created this uh bullish flag, flag pattern here and uh, we basically found support right around this area just above the 20 exponential and now we're heading towards 0 .0, uh, 0 0.06 so this is uh, one of the very cheap cryptocurrencies uh, which is also very volatile as you can see it um, can rally several hundred percent and then also lose um, half of its value within uh, well a few minutes so this is as basically far as this uh, this chart goes so but we are in this chart at the all time uh, nearly the all time highs it is basically here 0 0.0598 is um the highest at this and we're at 79 in the in the rsi so at this point it is it is risky to buy this as it is very risky to buy all the other ones so if we manage to take out these previous high 0, 0 0.6, then we'll probably go all the way up to 0 0.07 and then beyond that. So this is one of the very, very cheap cryptocurrencies. Whether or not this has a future, it is almost a punt to, to, uh, to invest in this as it is for most of the, uh, the lesser known and cheaper cryptocurrencies there if you go on investing.com there are over uh, 2000 2400 cryptocurrencies out there and to just use logic not all 2400 cryptocurrencies are going to be successful um, the analysis i heard uh, the other day of this being similar to what happened in the 90s where you had all these tech companies and so on uh, where you had thousands and thousands of tech companies that were people just uh, putting their money into, that is starting to look like the cryptocurrency market. There are thousands of cryptocurrencies. At some point, this bubble will burst and we will be left with probably a handful of cryptocurrencies that will survive in the long run. Probably the top 10 uh, 
uh, cryptocurrencies at this point will survive. The rest of them will just go bust. So if you look at uh, from, we are most likely going straight towards the top here. Uh, pullbacks are very unlikely at this point. But if we do, then 0 0.05 is probably where we have buyers will come in and target 0 0.06. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.